Honestly, I don't care about these people or if they die. Well, it's a good chance they're not going to die. It's been 50 minutes and we haven't had a single death. Like, there hasn't e they haven't even been in danger. No, this is just a, <laughs> it's just a really weird, like, drama about kids trying to get to a football game. Well, at least we've seen the House of Wax. We discovered the House of Wax, and they had those baby chairs from we saw in the beginning. So, you know, we're getting a little bit of a plot and maybe a villain introduced. Um, they're in their one-road town where there's all there is is a gas station and a, a church and the House of Wax. Like in two houses. That's all there is in the entire town. <laughs> so we, at least they meet one person. We go, we go to the gas station, and he finally finds his car part. Well, it's like it's similar to the one he needs, and he's like, you know, this will this will do. And it's like nonsense. I have the specific car part you need, but it's at my house. It's at my really creepy house on a hill. It's gonna be night when we get there, and uh, you, the, only the boyfriend can come in. The girl stays outside <laughs> in the car. Like what? <laughs> Yeah, just, co just come into my house. I got, I got the car parts you need. Just come to my house. Yeah, and then he leaves them. He's like, I'll be right back. Where's he going? In his own house. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and then the weirdest thing about this town is it's kind of like a retro, like, 50s town. It's really, it's nothing new, but we've got a brand new Pepsi vending machine outside the gas station. It's a brand new, new vending logo. machine. New yeah. logo, yeah. it's got, like, everything that a vending Blatant machine would have in placement. 2005 yeah. in, a 19, in a clearly, like, town that hasn't like changed in 30 to 40 years <laughs> and the more you watch the movie the weirder that gets just keep that in mind all right and here's one of the worst parts like so we have the boyfriend character Alicia Cuthbert's boyfriend Jared Padalecki he's all right guy you know he's okay he's kind of annoying and a couple times he's like oh you know I've, I've been a bad guy but he's all right he's the most probably sympathetic mm -hmm. character in a relative sense in this movie but he does two awful things he starts snooping and sees all the weird surgery stuff at the surgeon's house. And then he finds a dog fetus in a <laughs> vial on a desk. <laughs> and he just grabs it. Woo! <laughs> well, how is that? What does that mean? Does anyone do that ever? How does any human being see a fetus and they're just like, I want to shake that and make funny noises? <laughs> Good luck with the rest of this movie. Good luck.